All right, people, welcome back. More. What is this? Death Prado Kawate? Oh my crash. god. Oh, I, I just blanked. Terrible. Terrible. <laughs> Zero out of ten would not bang. Uh, we're joined by Stanzi. You're right, everyone. And uh, Death Pro has now updated, so we are now with the new list on Death Pro. And as you can clearly see, here's some uh, PK fire burning abyss shenanigans. We already knew that. I mean, come on. Like, you, you thought that if Sir went to one and Beatrice went to one, that burning abyss would be dead? That PK fire be dead, you're out of your fucking mind. Nope. So uh, he did the usual. Uh, of course, you're gonna definitely still play the t the terror top Takatom board combo because you get to bust out of Dante without even normal summoning. So he busts out that play, milled his mills weren't the greatest. I mean, he milled a Skarn, so that's good. But you can clearly see he milled one of his desires and his vanity. So rip on that. Uh, he had the burning abyss to, of course, pitch so he can go and summon his mm -hmm. Beatrice. So. That's all fine and dandy and all, but it's just, it's just like, it's literally the same fucking shit. It's like, they're doing everything they possibly can to make sure that, that Don't Dante change. doesn't get hit. It's ridiculous. <laughs> so that was actually a smart chain. So he chained Beatrice to send the Farfa, which after the resolution of, uh, inter interrupted kaiju slumber means that uh well of course beatrice dante farfa all of them of course and they'll go up because it's, it's, they're all if they're all if there's there's no win when when they all when? touch each other yep so return that farf and then summon that dante and then farf banish that uh thunder king till the end of the turn oh, i'm glad i'm glad that burning abyss have been hit i mean look at these fucking amazing hits they're so nerfed now they're dead yeah they're dead they're fucking trash oh yeah fucking gg so you fucking burning abyss like shit, more like still the best deck in fucking format. Like, uh, it seems like it's just gonna be a bad day. <laughs> like, why, why Konami? Why don't you hit Dante? Because reasons. Is his dick that good? Yes. Did he Hang stick on. it? Did he stick it in your McChicken? <laughs> <laughs> Gave you the chicken supreme, if you know what I mean. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> All right, so one for one pitch. So looks like a speed roid deck. I'm, th I'm thinking you... the speed roid deck. Don't know it's all over the kaiju. I'm not sure. Did you see my comment? Mm 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 mm. Is it on Skype? No, on the in the door. I guess it isn't no, showing it. No, no, I'm not saying it. <laughs> I mean, the guy's name is Chicken King. So <laughs> holy shit! <laughs> all right, so I'm summon. Whoa, Bob. Now what? Are you gonna sink ten, or are you just gonna leave it like that? And I guess because he returned the far like the farfa didn't go off unless something unless he missed time or he couldn't target, so he did go into a powerful Leo keeper of the sacred tree. That card's pretty powerful. Thirty one hundred yeah. monster that uh, can't be targeted except during your main phase too, but it's not like anybody's really playing Capulse or anything along those lines. Uh we already know Burning Abyss struggle oh never mind, he has a song warning. I would say Burning Abyss struggle against shit that they can't target. You know, like they've had it they had a terrible time burning abyss PK fire against like Cosmo Dark Destroyer, they'd have to go into like uh, F Zero to handle that situation. And even then, you know, who's to say they won't have the Cosmo Dread to fuck your day up? Like, <sighs> I saw Cap G's uh, top ten decks of the format. He put like Cosmos as like seven. I was like, oh my god! And like, no, they're not that low. <laughs> wow, no, your warning. The <laughs> gold oh, bomb, go ahead, summon. And try to go into. Just keep touching yourself and touching no, he yourself. No, he ain't done yet. Seven or an eight, maybe maybe Scar Rider or something. Hang on, has he used Gold Bulb's effect to bring it out the grave? Yeah, he just used it. All right, no mind then. I was gonna say he could sink seven, then bring the Gold Bulb back and go into Crystal. Why no, he just yeah, he just did it because he summoned Gold Bulb, went into the Leo, and then the guy saw the morning. But of course, Strike is still at three with that reprint confirmed because Konami's making that money, money, money. So, oh, so he can only summon one monster for the rest of the turn. So, what's your plan? Okay. Here? Like, are you actually gonna go into Clear Wing? You, I think the last card in your hand is uh, is a uh, Red Eye Die, I think. Red Eye Dice or Die? I think it's Red Eye. Can't, it's... can't he summon that Die and then make uh, that and the other? Speed Roid 7, go into Crystal Wing, and then go, I mean, Clear Wing, then use the Cloak Bulb to go into Crystal. I think he already normal summoned. Yeah, he normal summoned the, uh, the Terra Top. Yeah, but he's going to, yeah, but he's tributed to summon one from the deck. Yeah, so if he summons another one, then he can go into a Crystal Mouth. Yep. No, 
this is what I mean. He's going to go and he's going to turn that speed road to six, mm -hmm. go into go into um, clear wing, and then he's going to use the glow up bulb and the clear wing to go into crystal wing. That's what I just said. I said he can right. go into crystal mass. <laughs> Which is fine, you know, but, you know, who's to say that, I mean, he does have two sets, and we already know there's some strong back row back there. I mean, Strike is still at three, and he might have a Fog Blade, so he could still probably fuck up your day. But if you can get over this, if you can get over those two monsters, nope, 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 because Strike is still at three. Yep, so they open up the morning end to Strike, so you get fucked up. Simple as that. I mean, Strike is at three. Konami needs to make that money. Should they, hit, should they have hit Strike? Yes. Did they? No. So... <laughs> Because that reprint, that reprint, they need to make their money. Maybe Nexalus they'll start hitting Strike? Like, Strike can't stay at 3. There's no fucking way, Konami. It doesn't make any fucking sense. It's like, oh, yeah, you know, man, man, that fucking, that Book of Moon, that Compulse, and that Ring Restriction, man, bad on the shame on those cards. Those cards be at 1. But Strike, nah, I could be at 3. That's fine. I don't know. Like, if there is no money to make off a of Strike, I'm kind of wondering if Konami would actually do something about it. Or would they just yeah, leave it? Yeah, they would. Because it seems like the influence, maybe off of OCG, they're like, well, OCG doesn't have it hit, so maybe we could leave it. Wow. Uh, the middle one was a bluff, and there was actually a strike and a warning, so you just get your shit pushed in. I was kind of wondering if, like, Burning Abyss or PK Fire would actually run uh, the triple alert, and I'm, I'm not really seeing any PK Fire plays right now. This is looking like pure Burning Abyss. So, who said they're fucking dead? Who said that they're fucking dead? As long as Dante is at three, this deck ain't dead. Like, yeah, you, you gotta do more. You gotta do more. One, one or banned. Yep, yep. You might have to get rid of Sir. If, 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 if you want uh, Konami, I'm talking to you. Just, just sit down. Sit down. And talk to me, Konami. Konami. If you absolutely, positively do not want to hit Dante at all, you are going to have to. Hear me out. Ban Sir, so you can't do that Sir Dante loop. Even if Sir is at one, you can still do the Sir Dante Dante Sir Sir Dante Dante Sir, sir has to go. And you might have to limit Skarm to lower the consistency of the searching. Like, this is all you need to do is grab a Skarm, search a Skarm, and with Phoenix Rhino, Rhino as well. Like, he's an honorary burning abyss. Like, it's just, it's just too good. Still, still. You see, look, look, that one Dante would be gone. We would have to see the rest of this deck, but I guess they were like, no, we don't want to kill burning abyss. They were our first good TCG archetype, and we'll hit the shit out of fucking, yep, here we go. Sir Dante, Dante, sir, sir, Dante, sir, Dante, sir. They were our first good TCG archetype. We're not going to hit yeah, that. We'll, we'll hit, hit the, the shit, shit out, out of Cosmos. Cosmos. Well, no, not my burning abyss. Don't <laughs> hurt my babies. Shit, this deck has been top tier for fucking two years now. That's fucking ridiculous. Decks don't last two years being meta, being top tier. Like fucking Necros and Necros came and gone. Fucking Pepe, PP came and came and went. Like the the Burning Abyss came and died. Yep, yeah, like Burning Abyss still standing strong. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Another Dante. You can never Why have not? enough Dante. You can, I mean, nah. come on, he's at three. Like, you can never have enough fucking Dante. Yeah, Dante, woo! Ugh, fucking Konami. Like, like, this is okay. This is fine. Like, Konami, you need to hit him. Nah. Like, his they're dick always, is not that good. A list, they're always a list behind, so next list still get it. Don't worry about it. Holy shit, that's game. Unless he has something to block and attack, because that Dante can tackle over that glow up bomb. With the Barbar bar Burn, the 225, the 5000 plus the 28, that's 70, 78 plus the Barbar bar Burn. Yeah, that's game. That is game right here. Triple fucking Dante on the field, because that should totally now, you be see, cool. If he didn't have triple fucking Dante, he couldn't have gone for an OTK, but. Konami, <laughs> mm -mm, mm -mm. we're smarter. They just want to do everything. They're like, oh, if he had Beatrice, they can't do the Beatrice again. They really only need one Beatrice, especially PK Fire. Like, maybe Pure Burning Abyss need more Beatrice, but PK Fire, which is just an adaptation of Burning Abyss, they just need one. So, get the shit beat out of you, sir. God damn. All right. <laughs> guess so, your Chicken King wasn't good enough. Yep, yep. I guess it wasn't good enough, Chicken King. So, they're going to decide we're going to go ahead and head over to game two. Oh, just ridiculous. Like, why? Why? You only need one, sir. You only need one. <laughs> <laughs> one. One. Like, it, it might actually have to be that you might have to actually hit 
every single OG burning the bus down to one. It's like, Sir, yeah. one. Graf, one. Skarm, one. Dante, one. <laughs> Are you still, uh, did you pause it? No, all? I didn't, did I didn't pause it. All right. <laughs> I was like, that's like, they're not going to take that too long to sign. I still want to talk. Because <laughs> by the time they probably wouldn't have done signing, I'd probably forget what I was talking about. So, mm. just ridiculous. Like, I, I don't I don't know. I've never seen a deck last this long top tier. Like, fucking Cosmos has last time in the sunlight and they got a harder hit. Because, you know, you know, because, you know, Konami, you actually hit the fucking boss monster? <laughs> oh my god. I know. Uh, like I said, probably ne- they're always a list behind. Next list will probably hit. Fucking okay, ridiculous! It's like, it's like, oh, we hit Dark Destroyer down to one. He's the boss monster. We hit fucking Ulti Cannonhawk down to one. That's the boss monster. We banned Construct. That's the boss monster. We hit Ether. That's the boss monster. Yeah. Dante, nah, nah, nah. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Like, yep. So you can go ahead and just. Mill, and then look, there's Skarm, so Skarm will get you that Tour God or that Fiendish Rana. Like, Skarm's still at three. Like, all you had to do was just follow in the OCG's example when you came to the hit. Like, I, I don't even know fucking Konami's R&D department, but I, I, I heard that European Konami or whatever over there actually justified their list with an explanation. Did they? Oh. Yeah, they actually posted and they were and they were like, oh, well, these are the reasons why. Mostly it was just, oh, to lower the consistency. As we can probably tell, you know, a lot of it was just lower the consistency. They didn't want to kill things, but they just wanted to lower the consistency of shit. So I guess maybe they thought that they hit Dante the one that would kill Burning Abyss, and that's not what they wanted. So they were looking at other means, but. No. Like I said, you only need one Sir. And Beatrice, I mean, she was a bitch. She, the deck was fucking top tier in the shit even before she came over here, so. You didn't change much. <laughs> They just didn't have multiple Dantes to go with multiple com- Like, everything about Dante is just too ridiculous to stay at three, but you just want to keep them at three. It's ridiculous. Sure, you can go ahead and give him a Kaiju. You're still going to get that Skarm search in the end phase, and that's really all he cares about. It's also interesting that Chicken King allowed him to go first, but I guess maybe he thought that my deck's not good at going first. Yeah. I mean, Kaijus don't really like going first. So I guess it's Kaiju Speed Raid. I, I don't think I've ever seen that before or heard, heard of that. Kaiju Speed Raid. There's a lot of ones in here. Jet Synchron, Glow Balls, Red Eye Dice. Man, there's a lot of ones. <laughs> Level 1 tuners. Yep. Chao Fang. Chao Fang. Okay, so. Water, water and, fire. and fire. Oh, okay. They're totally That's... playing some water and fire. I know. He's got that fire. Oh, you know, oh, that burning mind. abyss. Never mind. You're just going to strike because fucking strike is at three. Like, this man is milling, but he never fucking mills his fucking solemn strikes. He always opens up with them solemn strikes to fuck you up. But, hey, it's at three, so why not, right? I know. Why? Why, Konami? Why? Because they want money, so fuck you. Seriously. Could you at least hit Carter Demise? Like, nope. Oh, isn't this like you can attack multiple times and can't or you can't activate it and stuff? With three cards, your opponent can activate card effects for the rest of the turn, and then I can't see the rest because Death Pro won't let me scroll down on the card. They're too busy putting this fucking set name Kaiju on the fucking shit that I can't scroll down to see the rest of the effect. I think it it can attack up to three monsters. I want to say that's what uh, Thunder King can do. They're like, oh, you have this Thunder King, so let's go ahead and up the other Thunder King. I, I didn't think TCG Konami would ever do it. I didn't think they would. I didn't think they would up uh, Thunder King. Right. To be honest with you, I honestly don't see Thunder King doing a lot this far. My, 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 my biggest gripe with Thunder King is that you left Card Demise at 3. That's my biggest gripe. It's like, so you just want stun decks. Because, I mean, pretty much you're just screaming, like, sure, yeah. go ahead, summon Thunder, Thunder King, King, set the some background, card of demise, yeah. draw more, set more, like, and put your helmet on. Strap it on real tight. <laughs> All right. What kind of helmets are we talking about here? Fucking the, the, the helmet, the wall helmets. Oh, wow. So there is not, not another strike set. So he busted out that Leo. That's really good. <laughs> That's really good. Like, that might actually yeah, be a good one. Yeah, 
Unless he has like a real regeki or something like that. I've always liked Leo ever since he fucking first came out. And you remember when we first um, did a door, and a tag door, and then I first wanted to go into him, and I didn't explain to him to him. We were like, yo, fuck that, that car's fucking trash. I was like, you don't know what you're on about. <laughs> wow, wow. Not. So he also had the solemn warning. Alright, so he had the solemn warning. It's a one, why not? So he pitched the rota. So am I to assume that there's actually some PK in there? I would assume so, I guess. Yeah, it's, I haven't seen any of it. No Rhino PK? isn't a warrior, is he? No, he's a fiend. Alright, I thought so. Yeah, so I'm assuming that there actually might be some PK up in there, and we just haven't seen it. Maybe he's hiding PK. It. Maybe he sided it in. You smoke screen, burning abyss in the PK? What kind of smoke screen is that? That's literally the same fucking deck. <laughs> I don't know. That's like the dumbest smoke screen ever. Why not? Because you can't. Why not? That's why. <laughs> <laughs> That's straight up retarded. I'm burning abyss. Hey. Right, game two, I'm burning abyss with Phantom Hey, Light. I was crazy. I, I, think, I think a while ago, I think I, I had... Uh, Constellers and I smoke screened into uh, into evil swans. And the yeah. evil swans, that was good. <laughs> and they always sided in line prisoning. At I'm least like, there ah, was a point ah. for that. <laughs> but light imprisoning is not too great right now. <laughs> no. Even even when you need to, even when your back is against the wall, you gotta go into that Dante. And of course, you grab back that scar to mill more. So when you mill three, I was gonna see some PK. Wow, one. He's running fucking part of desires. So you just wanted to get that scar in the graveyard. That's all you wanted. Yeah, yeah, I actually saw that. Some burning abyss decks and PK decks are actually running part of desires. It's like, okay. It seems like one of the lesser decks that you want to play that card in, but all right. I know. So, I mean, he could easily, you know, fuck your shit. <laughs> you could just grab a kaiju, then tribute your Dante for a kaiju. Of course, you grab back and search so he's got sir in the game sir in the game sir's not in the game yet that was last tool graph is in the game but nope no sir so you can't do the sir loop right now yep and then just tribute your dante of course dante will grab something back because he always fucking does he always pays for himself go ahead and grab that graph back i'm just i'm just kind of wondering what he's going to do here wait what can he possibly get to handle this fucking leo like you have you have to go into fucking um some good shit. F zero. Like F zero is like the only card I can think of that in your extra deck that can handle this situation. And with him tributing off your shit with Kaiju's every turn, I'll grab Scarm back for some more searching. What did he search with uh last time? Did he grab uh, a tour guide? guide? Yeah, of course he did. Yeah. Yep. So there's a kaiju and a kaiju, so Time to get it in. Wow, and you know what? He has a fucking domicile with the waterfront. I think that's game. That's game. GG. Go to game three, people. Go to game three. That's game. <laughs> There's no fucking way that he can win this. Yeah, I, I just don't see it. Especially with freaking, because domicile is not once per turn. But he has a scar oh, yeah. two. Oh, no, it didn't. It is. No, it's not. So he just removes two counters, negate and banish. You got your tour guide and your scarm. So unless you can go scarm, bait him, negate, tour guide, negate, and then throw a regeki at him, I just Why don't see this it. Fucking is. No, yeah, no, no, no. Nope, I think that might be game. Can you hold out just a little bit longer, possibly? I don't know. You could set that scarm, then he could kill that scarm, then hit you with Leo. Yep, yep, yep. All right, all right. We are going to game three. I will pause this time. You sounded pretty serious when you said that. Alright, I'll, 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 I'll take it with yeah, right, I don't remember I'll saying take. that, because I must have been high, and I've never done drugs in my life. Leo is good. 3,100 body that can't that be targeted. Like... Pretty much can't be targeted. I mean, if you target me, like, what is that? Like, it can't be targeted except for in, in your main phase, too. Like, what? Okay, <laughs> sure. Especially with no one playing Capulsion shit right now. I know. Oh. Wow. Okay. Uh, yep. Well, that's going to hurt that. Field spell for a turn, I guess. That's all he did play, so uh, good job siding that in. Mm -hmm. Don't really know what you know he uh... sided it in. He could have been main decking it. I mean, why not? It's always great to fucking main deck anti spell. It's the most fucking I helmet guess. card right now. Like, 
like the year the European the post posted about fucking Kaiser Coliseum and it was like oh we hit this card we bend it because it doesn't allow play and makes it so the game doesn't start you know it's like despite no one playing it yeah despite no one playing it and anti-spell is way worse like did you not see the freaking Remy YCS no I freaking, didn't watch the freaking finals it was I should you not like it was game two Fucking, I uh, think the guy was playing uh, Fire King Cosmos. He literally just flipped up anti spell, and the guy just scooped immediately. Scooped, didn't, didn't even try, didn't even try, because he's playing pendulums. And I think, I, I think Konami's mentality, and don't quote me on it. I think Konami's mentality when it comes to anti spell and floodgates in general, if it doesn't affect the mass, then they're not dealing with it. Then they don't care. Does that make sense? Does that make sense? Yeah, like, like the skill times drain. that you, everybody skill drain didn't about. fucking bother until it started hitting older decks, and then it was like, oh, yeah. well, we'll hit it. I'm just talking about like broad floodgates, you know? It's like skill drain affects everybody, macro affects everybody, Kaiser affects everybody, Vanny affects everybody. Anti spell really only affects pendulums, because if you're going to argue that anti spell should be hit, then in the same boat, couldn't you argue? Wow, wow, go to Moonlight and bounce. Oh, never mind, he had the fucking warning. Wow, of course he has the warning. I'm sick and tired of seeing all these fucking solemns. Shit. God's pimp hand and needs his work Holy doing. Crap. Is... You know, because if you argue that, oh yeah, anti spells should be hit because it hurts pendulums, and couldn't you argue that master strict should be hit because it, hit, it hurt like monarchs and tributing? Yeah. Mm. There's like a weakness for everybody. And I guess if you if the weakness isn't broad enough to affect everyone, then Konami doesn't it's not on Konami's radar. So I still think that anti spell would ever be hit unless they're absolutely like, oh we want promote pendulums, but it doesn't look like they really want to promote pendulums. Like they're they'll they'll go with the flow of pendulums and they'll and whatever is the popular pendulum they're fine with, but they're not afraid to kill that shit if it gets too powerful. Clearly we can see that. Mm. <laughs> like I said, I'm just getting sick and tired of seeing these solemns. Like this fucking this fucking uh, Burning Abyss guy has literally solemn this Chicken King every single duel. Every single duel. He's getting he's either got hit with a solemn warning or a solemn strike. This is ridiculous. It's first turn, too. I know. Oh, catch that Max C, though. So, he's going to at least get a pot of greed. I know he's going to go into Dante. He can't resist. He has to go into Dante. You, you, can't, you can't go without Dante. It's fucking addiction. Yep. <laughs> Who needs crap when you've got Dante? Yeah. <laughs> You're not going to go into Dante? You're just going to crash and poke for 300? I don't know how I feel about that. I think I think I would have let him get the pot of greed and win to Dante, crash, attack with Dante, well, milled for 2,500, and hit you for 2,500, detach is gone, get the search the end phase. Like, I'm not a big fan of that. I didn't like that. <laughs> mm. Unless you're going to do it main phase 2, why the fuck would you do it main phase 2? You could have got more damage in if you would have done in main phase one and wouldn't have Dante. You just gonna do it like that? Are we good? That anti spell is kind of slowing that fucking Kaiju guy down because even if he has terraforming, he has to set the terraforming, activate the terraforming, grab the field spell, set the field spell, activate the field spell. Like something that's to take like one turn is gonna take him like four turns. Oh, it's like yeah. ridiculous. So, yep. That's what I thought. <laughs> I was like thinking, I was like, he probably set the terraforming, but wow. So instead of allowing, he didn't take the maxi challenge. I at least said. Uh, I guess you're like you can you can even out you can even out because you did it to a uh, you chained to the summon but I'm not gonna lie to get any more when I seriously thought you were just gonna go full on Dante with it. Hey, but Maxi's broken. I mean, think about how much you got. Look, you got to hit down to two because it's so I mean, fucking fuck rusted. That. Like damn. Fuck that. You got to hit Maxi down to two. Strike. Strike. No. no. You can Maxi. strike the Maxi, but <laughs> exactly. So. Chicken King, list. not only did he not get too much out of that Maxi, and we got the equivalent of Besire, but now he's going to Dante. I'm getting sick and tired of seeing your ugly fucking face, Dante. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Shit. Like, don't worry, I'll summon perform full, not, uh, perform full pendulum sorcerer who's guy. Still at, who's also at three. <laughs> and who was also me. <laughs> so, third time, like, Everyone I'm Dante just, doesn't get hit ever. Like, nope. Yeah. Picture grab, turn into Beatrice. Rap effect. But Beatrice isn't a burning abyss, so whatever you summon will die. I mean I guess you could summon like you can get Sir in the duel. Oh, Barbar. Barbar burn. Okay. 
And I thought you'd maybe get like Sir in the duel or maybe Farfa and banish that set monster and then hit him directly for 25. I don't know. And like Beatrice is using her effect this turn. <laughs> is that a different Skarm? Did we see multiple Skarms in this duel? Or is that the Skarm that. I... Is that a different Skarm? Yeah, wait, that was the Skarm that you just milled? So you I don't want your search during the end phase? Maybe you thought so. During the end phase, if this card is in the grave, because it's, but it's not in the grave during the end phase, so because you Good just banished. Good job. I don't, Good I don't job. like that. I don't like that. Oh, this man always gets gold ball in every door. Fucking here we go. Number generator is too strong. So yeah, I didn't. I didn't like that. Oh, no search. That's probably another strike. Right, you can flip up your uh, your waterfront, and look how long it took you to get that fucking waterfront set up. You could have had counters on counters on counters on counters already. But nope. <laughs> and of course, Kaiju's are a nice counter to Beatrice. They still have Delta Dante though, I'm like a Pilgrim. So there's that one Beatrice, and it's not like they can't put the Beatrice. No, wait, no, they can't. I was about to say mm. something stupid, but never mind. But say it's not like they can't put the Beatrice back with Dante. Like, no, they can't. Like, all right, she's not a burning abyss. Keep forgetting <laughs> she's not a burning abyss. Which <laughs> is stupid. Like, why? <laughs> it's like, please, please go into that Beatrice so I can hit you with this chaos trap hole. Bitch! <laughs> Probably just chaos trap hole your Dante. No, I, can't. I don't want you to be milling. <laughs> Mm. Then I side Dante, keep him out of the game. If I cast trap hole your one Dante, if it was limited, and then you'd be like, fucking commit fucking Sudoku. Suicide. Right there. <laughs> yep. Sudoku? <laughs> what? He's gonna. <laughs> yeah. Yep, you have to commit Sudoku, right? <laughs> I can puzzle, I'll puzzle myself to death. I'll never <laughs> So, you got anything, Chicken King? Fuck Sudoku in yourself to death. I'll crossword you to death, boy. I mean, that's that's fine. At least you get a counter, but holy shit. When you get hit with that anti-spell and you have two terraformings. <laughs> I know. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Anti-spell is fucking... It's going to be like a monster this format. Holy shit. It is going to be a monster. I'll see. People say that every fucking format. Uh, pendulums are still a thing, but of course that's good. It's good against blue eyes. It's good against, uh, it's good against a lot of things, especially blue eyes. Like slowing them down. You saw it at Worlds. Like everybody and their mother was side decking that card. Like it, you side deck. Like this is this is the big side deck card of the format. You side deck this fucking anti spell fragrance. Right. Oh, can one of these two please lose? No. <laughs> boring as fuck to watch. No, this is, this, is, this is magic. This is what we want. No, this, is, this is dull. I would rather watch Raid Raptors. At least I can laugh at them searching all day. <laughs> Alright, so tour guide, summon, go into Dante, mill, tack, tack. Ah, just so much Dante, man. Like, so that goes to show you, people are like, oh, Pure Burning Abyss will be dead. Nope. No. So now what? It's really just taking long because all this waiting. Like, do you have a response or not? Like, Tour Guide, Summon Burning Abyss, or, or fucking uh, Fiendish Randall, XC and the Dante, Detach, Mill, Tat, Tat. And your turn. Like, holy shit. <laughs> What are we waiting on? Stuff. I was like, oh, I want this episode of uh, Deproto Commentary to be short. Nope. I, I didn't think it was going to go to the end three. And even in this fucking game three, it's taking forever. What the fuck are we waiting on? I'm just going to pause until, until, uh, until they're done. So they actually do something. Oh my God. He finally summoned the Phoenix Rhino. Rhino. And look, now we're waiting, waiting. Waiting, waiting, still waiting. 
Uh, this is why I don't oh, like look. meta. Dante. Oh this is why God. I don't like meta. It's the same shit over and over, and it's boring as fuck to watch and duel against. It's so <laughs> dull. What? You don't like seeing Dante that deck over and over and over and always? I don't like seeing any meta. It's all the same fucking shit they do all the fucking time, and it's boring to watch. If they don't care if it's boring. They don't care if they're if you're if you're not if they're not being entertaining. You all they care about is getting that nice W. You know the counter on Waterfront. Well, if you could just get one more counter, then you can get a search on. It wouldn't be terrible. Just of course Beatrice can easily interrupt plays. A powerful Farfa, and of course, do test that Dante, grab back that card. Like, I thought maybe PK Fire would be the more dominant version of Burning Bits with only one Scarmel and Beatrice, but nope. Like, that wasn't even much, really much of a hit at all in the end. That was probably uh -huh. one of the more tame hits when it comes to hitting the meta. They don't give a shit. Alright, so. Put that second like Waterfront, Summon Jet, Summon Glow Up. Where are you going with this? Like, do you actually have a plan? <laughs> or should you just admit defeat now? You can summon a kaiju, but that bitch just, just fuck up your day. Okay. It's, what the fuck did he just tribute set? I don't know. Can you tribute set kaijus? I think you can, yeah. Oh, okay. Tribute set of kaiju. Interesting. Gotta be it's gotta be that like glacial one, the water one with the big booty. Gamma seal? Gamma seal, whatever. Yeah, it's gotta be that one. Like, oh. Okay. So now at least with that tribute summon, you got that global back to the graveyard, which means that uh, you got your uh, waterfront with enough counters to get the search. And see so detach of uh, Beatrice, Beatrice will send Maybe like Farfa or something? I don't know. Oh, this duel's putting me to sleep. Oh, sir. So you can go do Sir Dante, Sir Dante, Sir Dante, because you only need one Sir. Because you know, we haven't seen Dante all fucking every duel. <laughs> so Sir uh... will summon back Dante, and Dante will go ahead and grab back Sir, because that's totally. Hey, look at Burning a Puss! We're healing, guys! We're Kadali! <laughs> fucking morons. Mm hmm. I wouldn't trust those fuckers to run a bath, let alone a company. <laughs> oh, that was good. <laughs> uh, Please end this duel. End this duel or end my life, one of them, I don't care which. Alright, so, turn twister. Yeah. Isn't that counterproductive? Because he's going to lose a counter, but he's going to gain one. I think he just wanted to pop the set card. I didn't think he really cared about Waterfront. Mm. And of course, you pitch that Sir, so you get that Graph, and then Graph will die, and then Graph will summon you probably back. You have another Dante in there? You can never have enough Dante. I won't be surprised. Oh, he said summon Far from him. Far will banish that set card, then that should be game. Yeah, that's game. Oh, well, that was fun. No, it wasn't. Oh, God. Alright, GG. GG. Yeah. No, he'll have matter. Battle Fader. He'll have Battle Fader. You better fucking not have Battle Fader. I don't think so. I'll kill you. And we'll never know what that set monster was. Oh, no. Alright, so we're done here. Uh, this video is late. Oh, I apologize. People. Finally. Anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed today. You go, even wasting their hits, even with Sword of One and Beach One, Burning Abyss are still meta. Still top tier shit. Fucking Jeez, two years. You saw plus. that one coming, except for everyone. Yep, yep. Perfect example I right there. Konami don't, I swear Konami don't play Yu Gi Oh! I swear they don't. Because. <laughs> They don't, because they do these random hits that anyone who actually plays the game, not even fucking people who play meta like me, even I can look at the list and be like, that's not going to do anything. <laughs> and then they're like, oh, yeah, look, this will do stuff. Like, no, no, it won't. You're a fucking retard. So I guess uh, maybe the next list 
a little list after that, or the list after that, <laughs> or the next list, or the next list. And the next list. always a list behind. I hate Konami TCG. They're always a list behind. <laughs> Every fucking time. Right. Like, no. fucking, you can guarantee next list will be have Solemn fucking Strike and Card the Mice hit. We should have hit him in this fucking list. Yep. Oh well. Well, right, people, hope you guys enjoy. Thank you, Stanzas, for joining me. No worries. I'll just kill myself now. I've lost You're gonna the world. You're going to commit Sudoku? Yeah, I've lost the world to live. <laughs> I'm going to commit crossword. <laughs> Alright, and see you guys in Thursday with some more Dead Portal commentary. Thanks for watching.